Hello friends, today I am super excited to show you something which I had been waiting for a long span of time. Yeah, this is what is my customized Android app and through that app, I will be switching on and off this particular bulb. This Android app has got the entire database support as well. That means only when the person who has successfully installed this app with a register username and password can be able to trigger this particular bug. Well, as far as electrical hardware or IoT kits are concerned, this is my relay module. It's my relay module. Let me just type it down for you guys. Those who are willing to work on this kind of thing, it's a relay module in available in market one channel or two channel or four channel relays are available. So as far as number of electrical appliances you want, you can go for it. Okay. The next equipment which you need is Node MCU. This is the application which will be basically connecting your Wi-Fi module. So these are the two components which you need to purchase from any online uh, website available. Okay, that's all you need and you need a breadboard. You need a breadboard in order to implement uh, your uh, Node MCU. In case nowadays the Node MCU are coming a little bit wider in shape. Uh, that might not be easily fixed in any breadboard. In that case, you need some jumper wire, some jumper wire like uh, male to male or male to female jumper wire are required. Okay. These are the only equipment you need as far as the IoT kits are concerned. And you need to have a cable, a holder and a bulb. That's all you need. And undoubtedly, you need to have my project or if you want to create a project of your own that's what you need what you need to do is that one end of the wire you have to fix into your power supply and the other end you have to connect to your bulb holder and at the same time you have to fix uh means you have to cut down your wire and you have to fix with this relay module which i have done which you can see right over here i have done that and then you have to go for a setup of your node mcu and this node MCU has a data cable connected. You can see where it's connected with my laptop or you can go for any kind of power bank. It needs a power source for this node MCU to run. Okay. And here is my app, which I have developed. It's a customized app. So now let's go and run this particular app with my emulator so that you can see the whole thing working out. Just wait for a while as the application. Okay. Let me just start it from the beginning. Okay because just now I have configured this entire app with slight modification so better I would deploy it once again apart from this Android one more thing I'm making use of is something called Google Firebase so this is what I'm making use of it's a real-time database and in Google Firebase I have created one database and it has got one attribute and it has got one boolean value of either one or zero okay so what I'm going to do is that the emulator is getting ready and here is my app starting to work and it is asking me to enter username so suppose i go for some wrong credential so i gave my username as swaru and i'm giving a password like one two three and i'm trying to uh, connect to my app immediately it will say it's a wrong credential so until and unless you give the correct credential you are not supposed to enter the app okay and here are my correct credential so now I click the sign in button and my app will get activated immediately. Yeah, and here it is. Now what I'm going to do, my target is to open, this is my navigation drawer and I will click the, uh, this particular option and see over here, it is the, the initially when the activity got launched, this particular two bulb, uh, button were disabled but now it is saying it's off because the bulb is off so that means immediately when you load your activity it will go and check what is the current status what is the current status of this particular firebase okay 
So what I'm going to do is that let me minimize this one as well, okay, so that you can see all the thing in front of you. Just a minute, let me adjust it. Yeah, and here it is. So uh, what I will try to do is that I will try to click this particular button. And what happens if I do that? But before I go for it, just see the value is one right now, okay? So let me click this button and just keep an eye on your right hand side as well as left hand side. So let's go. Wow, the value got changed. Voila! Immediately the bulb also got on. That's fantastic. So that means this button is connected with the Firebase. So if I click, currently it is on. So if I click on, wow, the value got changed to 1. Off, it's now 0. And the bulb is on. Hey, we can keep on playing like this, isn't it? That's not bad. So that means, through this mobile application, I can switch on this bulb wherever I am. And on the top of that, suppose... You are in your house, you are doing some work, suddenly you got a call and you have to rush. And in the process, you forgot to switch on or switch off some electrical appliance and you are way away from your house. And then you recall, oh my God, did I switch off the light or did I switch off the fan? That one might be wondering, which you might be thinking about it. Nothing to worry. Open my app, connect to the internet and just see what the state is. Right, right now, the status is off. It's cool. Nice. But if you were on... It would have been showing it on so let's do one thing let's do, let let me keep the bulb on and let me start the process of let me uh, switch off the emulator and let me start it once again to see what actually happens this time when my uh, application is already on see it's the bulb is on and the emulator is getting ready as you can see over here okay the emulator is just starting right now so it will show me the status so it will first it will ask me to log into the application that is very important because i told you only when you have a correct credential then only this application is going to work so i'm logging with my credential hang on okay yeah and that's my password so let me just get into the application and see the bulb is on right now okay that's something you have to keep it in mind so let me now load the activity and I don't know what is the status. So I want to see that they should be prompt me immediately. See, it's in a disable. Ah, now it got an able. So it's saying that the bulb is on. So that means immediately the activity got launched. It will tell you the status. So now if you want to go for a switch it off, that is to worry. You are done. How is the app? Please provide me your feedback. Okay, that's all for this video. And I'm very sure I will be working more on this application. And I will keep updating you guys. Thank you so much. Have a nice time.